Scientists search for clues to our history in bones, fossils, and artifacts. Dr. Jim Burns, a paleontologist, describes how carbon dating can unlock the secrets of the past. Radiocarbon dating is applicable to any organic remains, whether they be plant or animal. Uh, for example, animal bones, uh, leaves, tree wood, seeds, any of those sorts of things that were once lived tissues. So there's a practical range here of about 300 years back to about 40,000 years. Beyond that, you have to use some different method of, uh, of dating to find out how old the specimen is. Our friend Monty back here was indeed dated by radiocarbon method. The date taken from protein that was extracted from the cheekbone came out at about 11,220 years old. Uh, there's a little fudge factor there, a plus or minus, because of course of course, all radiocarbon dates are statistical estimates of the age. With radiocarbon dating, what we need is a sample. We have a sample here, for example, of a mammoth rib. We would send that to the lab. The lab would grind it up, run it through a bunch of chemical transformations, and end up with a little vial full of benzene, which then goes in a machine, something like a Geiger counter, and it counts the uh, the pings of decaying atoms and this this gives them a value then for the radioactivity of that specimen we take that value and plug it into our formula here that would be the value for a it would be the the value of radioactivity in our fossil sample a sub zero here would be a value for say uh, a modern elephant rib we multiply that then by 0.5 to the nth power and this is the the half life uh, factor in the equation. Run it through the equation here, solve for n, and we get 2. Now n is the number of half-lives, and we say that the half-life of radiocarbon is about 5,730 years. So if our sample is two half-lives old, we simply solve here n times that value and get uh, 11,460 years. So that sample is about that old. In addition to dating paleontological materials or archaeological materials, there are several applications of the method uh, which have social implications. For example, uh, several years ago, the famous Turin Shroud was dated. This was a piece of cloth that was originally thought to be the, the cloth that uh, Christ's body was wrapped in as he was brought down off the cross. Mm -hmm.